Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to download and install all the mods 9, this beautiful mod pack for Minecraft. So yeah, stay around until the end of the so yeah, stay around until the end of the video and let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Now, step number one to get all the mods 9 in your computer is to download and install some type of mod pack loader. In this case, we're going to be using CurseForge, which is one of the most popular and safe mod pack loaders to use. And not just a mod pack loader, but also a mod loader. You can mod multiple games with it. Anyways, to download and install CurseForge, go ahead and click on the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install this software. Of course, feel free to read through the guide and look at the screenshots and stuff. But if you just want to follow along, scroll down to step one and click download CurseForge here that redirects you to the CurseForge website in here in here you could download the standalone or if you need more options in case you're in a different os or different uh, operating system you could go ahead and click on more option and you have mac and linux in here but i'm just going to go ahead and download the standalone for windows go ahead and click on that button and that'll begin the download for the installer of CurseForge. once you have the installer go ahead and drag and drop it to your desktop now by the way guys if you already have CurseForge installed in your computer or the mod rent app installed on your computer you can go ahead and install all the mods 9 through there. You don't have to finish watching this guide. Anyways, I'm assuming most of you watching this video don't have CurseForge installed. So to install it, go ahead and double click on the installer and that will open this little menu in here, which will let you select the language and then click next and then accept the terms. If you want to change the installation folder, you have to launch the installer as an admin, which I didn't. I just launched it as a normal user. Then go ahead and click next and wait for CurseForge to install. Now, while CurseForge is installing, I want to let you all know about today's sponsor. There is still time to get 25% off your first server with Apex Hosting by using the first link in the description. You could create either a Java or a Bedrock server, a server that is open 24 seven so your friends could join at any moment, a server that doesn't expose your IP address or your computer resources because it's hosted online, 100% online. And here it is. You could also install mod packs into this server. So you could just install a mod pack with just one click. As you can see, there's support for more than 200 mod packs, which is insane. I'm going to leave that first link in the description. Get your server set up in less than five minutes with 25% off. And let's keep going with the tutorial. And as we can see, CurseForge has finally installed and it just launched by itself. But if this is the first time you're installing CurseForge, it might not be that way for you. You might have to open CurseForge and it might have you go through a little intro. And then in there, you could just click a skip and then they'll place you over here where you're going to have to select the game that you want to install the mod packs for. Obviously, you're going to select Minecraft. I'll bring you over here and then you could head over to browse. And now in here in the browse area, you could just find all the mods nine in here most of the time. However, if that's not the case for you, just head to the search bar and type all the mods nine and then press enter and all the mods nine will come up in here. You have the no frills and then you have the regular all the mods nine in here. It's up to you which one you want to install. For this video, we're going to install the regular one, which is the one that has 6.2 million downloads. And all you have to do to install it is click where it says install right here and I'll begin the installation process. You could head back to my mod packs in here and you can find all the mod packs that you installed from CurseForge. Of course, all the mods nine will be in here as well as any other mod pack that you have. And anytime that you wanna play this mod pack, you will now have to launch your Curse Forge installer. That is because this mod pack will launch through an independent launcher, which is not your regular Minecraft launcher. I get people confused a lot of the times. People ask, hey, I launched my Minecraft launcher and I don't see my mod pack. That is because you have to launch it through CurseForge. Once you open it through here, you will get the actual Minecraft launcher for the mod pack itself. And you will see that in a second. Let's go ahead and wait for this to finish installing. After all the mods 9 have been installed, you could just go ahead and play by clicking on play. And like I said earlier, this will open a different Minecraft launcher that will look exactly like your regular Minecraft launcher with this spinning potato in here. But this is actually a different Minecraft launcher and it will probably have you log in from the beginning. Like if you were playing Minecraft for the first time, don't worry, this is totally safe to do as it is still an instance of the official Minecraft launcher. It's just a different one because he has all the mods 9 loaded into it and there's no Nothing else except just the latest release and the latest snapshot so there is not anything else like modern minecraft or if you had optifine fabric anything like that it won't be here that will be in your regular Minecraft launcher. Like I said, this is just a different instance. Now, before we go ahead and launch all the mods nine, remember that if you head over to installations, click on these little three dots in here, click on edit, more options. You could always change the RAM amount that you allow this mod pack to have. The RAM amount in here is written in megabytes. That's why you see 4,096 megabytes, which are equal to about four gigabytes of RAM. If you want to give it more like 
eight gigabytes, you should write something like 8,192. You could always calculate how many gigabytes are equal to how many megabytes, but I don't recommend that you mess with this too much unless you know exactly what you are doing and how much RAM you have in your computer. This is just an option for those of you that want to increase the performance of your mod pack. I'm going to leave it as it is. Four gigabytes should be plenty for me, and I'm just going to go ahead and click on play. And that's what you should do too right now if you want to play this mod pack. Click that you understand the risk and then click on play again and wait for the mod pack to open. And as you can see, the mod pack finally loaded. It actually took a little bit long to load. I actually left my computer and came back and it finally loaded, but it definitely took like three or four minutes. So give it some time for it to load. But once in here, you could just go ahead and play. You could click on single player. And of course you could also play a multiplayer server. If you need a server, first link in the description, 25% off with Apex Hosting. All right, and after taking a long break, this finally loaded. So I discovered that this game this mod pack specifically has high requirements for RAM and it will also require you to have at least Java 17 on your computer. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and leave a guide in the description of this video on how to download and install Java 17 because this is not compatible with older versions of Java and will either crash when you launch it or just keep constantly crashing while you're trying to play. It should be the third link in the description and it is this guide in here on how to install Java 17. When I installed Windows 11, I noticed that it didn't come with Java 17. So I had to actually manually install it. Those of you that have watched my videos in the as you know that you need Java 17 for a bunch of mods for Minecraft and this mod pack also requires it so I'm gonna leave that in the description and let's just go ahead and wait for this world to finish creating to finish this video up. Alrighty so we're finally in the game I have to say it's quite slow look I'm not blaming the mod pack okay I know it's a heavy load mod pack it has a lot of mods but I'm recording at the same time I'm playing so it's understandable that it's not at the best right now but most of you who are not going to be recording and just playing shooting experiences. And before I go, guys, I have to tell you that I found out that this runs much better in full screen. Also, I noticed that I had VSync on, so I went ahead and turned that off and I increased my FPS. And now the game is actually playable even while I'm recording. So, yeah, most of you, if you want to stream this game and stuff, you shouldn't have any issues or if you want to record it. So, yeah, I, I went ahead and fixed that. All I had to do was turn off VSync, increase my FPS and I put it on full screen and the game is running much, much better. Anyways, that has been everything from today, and as always, bye-bye.